defending what demonstrators say are reproductive rights. Opposition MPs brought protests to the floor of Poland's parliament on Tuesday, chanting, this is war. Thousands have joined daily marches across the country in defiance of COVID-19 restrictions. In the capital Warsaw, streets were blocked, bringing traffic to a standstill. I am so sorry, I need to fight for my daughter's future. I cannot imagine not being here. It follows last week's ruling by Poland's constitutional court that abortions in all but a few cases are illegal. The move paves the way for the governing right-wing Law and Justice Party to approve a ban on terminations, even in cases of fetal defects and when there's no chance of survival outside the womb. Abortion will only be allowed in cases of rape, incest or where there's a threat to the mother's life. Poland's Prime Minister promised to defend what Conservatives see as an unborn child's right to life. Dear Poles, the freedom of choice truly is a fundamental thing, but we should all agree that in order to have this freedom of choice, one needs to be alive. The one who is dead cannot implement one's right to freedom of choice. But the moves led to fears about a possible rise in illegal procedures. This law will not decrease the number of aborted fetuses. What it will do is put women's lives in danger because there'll be less prenatal screening. It will put children's lives in danger too because they will not be tested through prenatal screenings. On Sunday, activists disrupted church services across the country. Poland's predominantly Roman Catholic. The church, strongly opposed to abortion, wields enormous influence. The move set the country even further apart from the European mainstream. EU leaders have accused the Polish government of violating shared standards for years and of rolling back on democratic reforms. Demonstrators have promised many more days of action. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera.